Hello everyone, I am back with another video and in front of you is a UR700 that just launched from Earth and is sending a manned mission to the Red Planet. Yes, I did not want to send this to the moon again because the UR700 was originally supposed to launch a manned mission to the moon, but I decided I visited the moon last video, so why not, why not Mars or another uh, place because I didn't want to do the same thing again just go to the moon and back plus going to the moon is very easy and it's for noobs <laughs> Okay, just kidding. We've jettisoned the boosters and we have now jettisoned the first stage of the rocket and we are currently ascending through the thinner parts of the Earth's atmosphere and we are about to jettison the fairing with the launch abort system, there we go. Exited the Earth's atmosphere. As soon as we left the atmosphere, I jettisoned the fairing, which was cool. Uh, we are ascending to an orbit about, I can't, I can't really tell from this distance, but we're, we're uh, you know, coming into a fairly low Earth orbit, you know. And this rocket kind of takes forever to turn. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, there we go. We just made it into orbit. Uh, setting my Mars transfer. Luckily, Mars was in position. I did not check before I launched this mission. I just got lucky. I I was so excited when I saw that. I was like, oh my god, the universe is, um, is in my favor today. <laughs> okay, um, fire the, what are those engines called again? Uh, they're not the Hawk engine. The Hawk engine is something else. The Frontier engine. I remember because it's Sonic Frontiers and it's coming out holiday 2022 this year. Sega, please do not rush this game. Oh, and we have separated the second stage and that's the uh, Mars Descent and Ascent vehicle. It might look a bit ugly right now, but it's because it has that giant heat shield on it with a fairing. But once the uh, once that bottom part is removed, it, it looks it looks great. I promise. I based my design, oh yeah, cheeky moon encounter because the moon decided to get in my way. But thankfully it, it did not mess up my overall trajectory. So I think, you know, we're good. Uh, lowering my periapsis to intersect the Martian atmosphere. And yeah, just making some final corrections before I enter the Martian sphere of influence. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, I think I was talking about Sonic Frontiers. Yeah, uh, Sonic Frontiers. It looks good so far. Hopefully Sega does not rush the game like they usually do with Sonic Origins. Many people were disappointed about Sonic Origins. Uh, yeah, I, I personally didn't experience any problems with it. I only encountered like two to three bugs, mostly in Sonic 3, but it's because I have the Switch version. I didn't really, uh, you know, have a problem with the game. I didn't hear any, you know, muffled audio like other people claim that there's muffled audio or something. I don't know. Or maybe I wasn't just paying attention and I was just playing the game. Like, it's because it was my very first time playing Sonic 3, so of course I'm not really gonna, you know pay attention to small details like the audio changing or whatever although i was disappointed that uh ice cap zone launch base zone and carnival night zone the three themes for the stages were not present in now i understand that because michael jackson worked on sonic 3 yeah but at least they should have chosen the prototype music uh, did they lose a file or something? Because the new music, it sounds exactly like the prototype music, but with like, it was altered some way, which made it sound worse. I don't know what happened in the development team or whatever. I don't know what happened in the development room. They were like, oh, uh, we, sir, we lost the file for the original prototype music. Okay, you know what? Just uh, bring in, uh, I forgot who the guy's name was. The guy that uh, helped make uh, the music for Sonic Origins. Oh, speaking of that, uh, I don't like the new ending music for Sonic and Knuckles. Whenever you, you know, go through Doomsday and all that. 
They should have just kept Sky Sanctuary Zone. I know in the original game, there was different music for that, and you can clearly hear the influence of Michael Jackson if you look up the original ending music for Sonic and Knuckles. But they should have at least kept Sky Sanctuary. That sounds a lot better than the new music they, uh, they made for the game. Anyway, we are in Mars. What? No, we are in the Martian atmosphere about to land. I kind of, you know, uh, forgot we were descending onto the Martian surface and touch down now. There we go. Uh, zooming out to see the planet and fade. <laughs> what? You can see a little Russian flag right there and we have lifted off from the Martian surface. We are now on our way home, people, and I'm so glad that I can now eyeball my trajectory. Like, by that I mean the planet's uh, movements. So, yeah, basically, um, I'm really good at this game now. <laughs> I don't really play, uh, well, I didn't really play this game a lot, like, a few months back. I used to play Space Agency a lot more. People think this game is my favorite game. No, it will forever be Space Agency. I'm sorry you're hearing this and you you adore this game, but I I just have to pick Space Agency because that's the very first space game I ever played. Like, I'm serious. I played it back in 2012. It was an amazing game and it will forever be in my heart because like the soundtrack is so nostalgic and yeah everything else about the game yes its orbital mechanics are not the greatest but i can look past that you know and we already completed our trans earth injection making a mid-course correction now to make sure we don't you know uh fly off into space again i didn't you know uh lower my periapsis too much it's only uh, at about 41 kilometers above the earth so yeah don't worry i'll um i'll correct it after a little while because then i realized oh i'm not gonna enter orbit i'm just gonna you know uh fix my orbit line to re-enter earth's atmosphere i don't know why i didn't do this sooner but maybe it was to waste more fuel to not you know have a lot of fuel in the t i don't know i don't know if i'm making sense right now Anyway, we've detached the service module. You could actually tell that this spacecraft was super Matt Loud inspired. I was like, okay, what can I do for a uh, Mars landing um, spacecraft? What can I do for the top spacecraft? Uh, oh, yeah, look at Matt Lowne's, uh builds. And yeah, I got inspired by that. So yeah, we've entered Earth's atmosphere now. Uh, we're just now in free fall. Uh, we will deploy the parachute in a bit, and the video is almost over, so make sure to comment if you want uh, to tell me your opinions on this video. And leave a like. Uh, no one's, uh, you know... Uh, okay, uh, I, I can see, I can hear the end screen music now, so uh, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video.